Thank you viewers, I am Tutor Kletu Sokoli. In today's mathematics class, we shall have Olympiad math question and we are given if x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 36, then we should find the value of x. We dive in. What do we do to the end? It is going to be a brief video. Therefore, given x to the power x to the power 3 to be equal to 36. Without wasting time, I want to start from the right hand side and I will write this my 36 in base 6, which is 6 to the power 2. Very simple. So I now write x to the power x to the power 3 equal to 6 to the power 2. Alright? Then, next I will do, I want to multiply both sides of the powers by power 3. Okay? I want to multiply both sides of the powers by 3. Both sides of the powers by 3. And that is going to give me x to the power x to the power 3 or multiplied by 3 equal to 6 to the power 2 also multiplied by 3 okay that is what i have done doing this next i will have is see that the law of indices has given to us that when we have x to the power n also to the power n that we should see it as x to the power n minus n and it can also be written as x to the power m okay then n that is interchanging the positions because multiplication is commutative 2 multiplied by 3 is the same as 3 multiplied by 2 all right so x to the power n minus n multiplied by n is the same thing as x to the power of n multiplied by n and i can write it as x to the power n all to the power n so all are equal i will apply it by the left hand side to have this three interchange with my x inside the bracket to the power three that will now give me x to the power 3, then interchange with the x to the power 3. Everything is equal to. If you don't mind, I will write to you that if, as we have here, that x to the power n to the power n is simply x to the power of n multiply n so i can now multiply 2 and 3 to get 6 to the power 6 that is 2 times 3 okay this is now good we can move forward to now have it that if you look very well you will agree with me that what i have as the base here inside the bracket is x to the power 3 and it is also equal to the base by the right hand side as well as x to the power 3, which is the power by the right, also equal to the power by the left. What does that mean? That inside the bracket is equal to the base, the base by the left is equal to the base by the right, as well as the base by the left, so the power by the left is also equal to the power by the right. That is what we have. And this can now be written as x which is the base to the power 3 is equal to 6. Now, to get my value of x, I can say x to the power x multiplied by 1 over 3. And by the right hand side, I also write 6 multiplied by the power 1 over 3. So that this 3 can cancel out and then giving me my x as equal to 6 to the power 3, which is the same thing as the cube root of 6 final answer so we have gotten the actual value of x that x is equal to cube root of 6 that is our final answer we are going to 
substitute into the question to ensure that our answer is correct. That is, check result. Check result. All right. Now, anywhere I see x, I put cube root of 6. So from the question where I have x to the power x to the power 3 equal to 36, I want to evaluate the left hand side by substituting the value of x to see if it can give me what I have by the right hand side, which is 36. And that means that I have the cube root, okay, that I have the cube root of 6 to the power of cube root of 6, okay, then r to the power 3, r to the power 3. We want to see if it will be equal to 36. Then moving forward, and we will now start from the power that the cube root of 6, then to the power, I will now write this cube root of 6 as 6 to the power 1 all over 3, then multiply by 3, which is already there, is it equal to 36. Alright, now from this power you can agree with me that 3 can cancel 3, leaving me with the power 6 alone. And from the inside the bracket, which is the base, I can write the cube root of 6 as 6 to the power 1 all over 3. Then, at the power I have left 6 equal to 36. And this implies that 1 over 3 will multiply 6. And that will give us 6 to the power 6 over 3 equal to 36. And the 3 divided 6 will give us 6 to the power 2 equal to 36. Therefore, 6 to the power 2 is equal to 36, equal to 36. Therefore, we can now say that our answer, which is x equal to cube root of 6, is very correct. And then we can say that x, which we are asked to find, is actually cube root of 6. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If this is your first time of stopping by, kindly subscribe to my channel and share my videos, give thumbs up to my video. God bless you. Nambu, Abraham Madosit.